today I have with me Elle. And Elle has a YouTube channel where she focuses on hair, skin, and nail health. So I had skin issues that were pretty severe when I was quite young. It was really hard to put myself out there and it's still quite difficult because you, the worst thing for someone who has skin issues is to expose them to everyone and say, hey, look at this. Like it's almost 100% against my nature because my whole life is always like hiding, covering it up, not talking about it with anyone. How did you pinpoint exactly what was making you break out or triggering your rosacea? You have to really maintain your anxiety or stress levels. And also really think about what you're eating because as some of us get stressed, we eat things that actually make your inflammation in your body worse. And inflammation is a big issue with acne rosacea. That's so interesting because I think a lot of times we just think about, well, what can I do to combat, put something on my skin, make it go away, but we're really not thinking about what's going on in the inside. One of the other things I started noticing around pre-pandemic to pandemic was my hair started really changing and I have very long hair and it's usually quite shiny and healthy but it was getting really dull and breaking and falling out nothing majorly drastic but enough for me to notice that there was definitely something wrong and then one of the biggest kickers was my nails changed and had serious brittle breaking and vertical lines, which is like a line going down your nail. So I knew something is really, really wrong here. I went to see my primary care physician and she did blood tests. I also went to a dermatologist who did blood tests focusing on hair, skin, and nails. And they found similar things that I had really low iron, really low vitamin D. And my primary care found that my blood pressure was really high. One of the other things was my B vitamins were all super low, which are the stress vitamins, the first things to go when you're under great amounts of stress. I ended up getting a blood pressure monitor that I would take my blood pressure multiple times a day. At the time, my job was really intense. I even talked with her about it. I think it's my job. I think I have extreme stress and I'm eating badly also because I'm working extra. That was really the moment where I said, okay, I, I had to wake up and make some changes. I was already running regularly for lowering stress, and I started making huge changes in what I was eating, and I was taking the supplements to fill in the depletion that was happening there. But I also needed to get more sunlight for that real vitamin D from the sun and change what was going on with my job. My blood pressure dropped within a few weeks to normal. It was shocking. My digestion issues also were very much going to a normal state instead of how they were working before, which is an issue with inflammation as well. So a lot of things physically started changing. I'm hoping within the next six months or year, I'll see the external parts because they're the last to, to tell you. They're the first to tell you, but they're the last to heal. I really love your channel, L Naturally, on YouTube, and we'll share a link within the description that you can go to and check out Elle's channel, hopefully subscribe. You talk about the problems, the issues, and then like a lot of natural remedies and things that I really didn't think of. I feel like I'm learning so much just about the health aspect of hair, skin, and nails. So thank you for that. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story, Elle. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, Sam, so much for thinking of me and having me on your podcast.